So what do you think about these background walls for your incoming calls? They're super easy to set up. So go into your phone settings and then look for call background. And then when you get into that, click on background and you'll be able to add any video as a call background from your gallery. Pretty simple. Now, let's say you're getting a phone call and you're in the shower, you're eating or your hands are busy. You see, I get this answer call prompt. I could just say answer phone and my phone not only answers the call, but it also turns on the speaker phone so I could do a hands free call. Now to set this up, go into app drawer and search for Bixby, then hit the settings icon and then search for talk to Bixby without wake up. And that's it. It's going to be off by default. You may have to turn it on and that's it. By the way, you can totally auto record incoming and outgoing phone calls. So again, go into settings and this time search for record calls. There's something called as auto record calls, which lets you decide do you want to record all calls or just calls from unknown numbers or from specific numbers. And of course, you'll be able to decide which phone numbers or contacts you wish to record when they call you. And by the way, you can record your call anytime during a phone call by tapping record call right over here. Just one thing to keep in mind that the ability to record calls is not available in all countries. It depends on the laws in that country. So don't be surprised if you don't have this uh, facility. Okay, next, by default, when you get an incoming call while you're doing something, you get this call pop up. When you answer it, it sort of takes over your entire screen and takes you away from what you were doing. But I changed that. So when I answer the call, it remains in a pop up and I can do whatever it is that I was doing. To set this up, go into your Tyler, into settings and look for call display while using apps and turn on the setting that says keep calls in pop up. The first battery tip is to place this widget. It tells you the battery levels of any connected device, your earphones, your S Pen, your watch, anything. To get this, long press on the home screen, then click on widgets and simply drag and drop this battery widget onto your home screen. You can long press on it, you can resize it, that's it. Now this next tip is only for those of you who wish to keep your phone for at least three to four years or maybe more. Do not charge your phone over 85% charge. It's just going to ensure that your battery's long-term health remains really good. And there's a setting built in for you to do that. So go into battery and device care, then into battery, and then scroll all the way down to more battery settings. The last option is protect battery. When you turn this on, your phone will not charge beyond 85% all by itself and you have to do nothing. But hey, any day you want a full charge, totally go for it, but just avoid. Next, a lot of you don't know and I'm actually surprised that your Galaxy S23 Ultra can wirelessly charge other devices that support wireless charging, things like your earbuds or your smartwatches or even someone else's iPhone. And all you have to do is place that device at the back of the phone but you have to first turn on wireless power share. So for that, go into your notification tray, click on the plus to add the wireless power sharing setting toggle. And when you pull that out, just toggle it, turn it on, and it's all set to wirelessly charge. Next, if you game a lot, then this next tip is going to further improve your battery's health. So just before you start gaming, plug in your charger and then go into your notification tray and look for tap to open game booster. Open it up, click on settings, and you'll see an option that says pause USB power delivery and you turn that on. Once you do that, you can go back and start gaming. And what this does is that it supplies power directly to your system. So your battery is chilling. It's not doing anything. It's not getting used up. It's not getting hot. And so your device has no performance throttling issues and the battery doesn't go through any kind of degeneration. So overall, it's great for your battery. Let's say you want to send photos, videos, files, anything in a conversation. Just open that app in split screen view and then open, let's say the gallery. Select your photos, then hold, drag and drop them onto the conversation. Now you can do something very similar with files as well. It's the same process. Select them and drag them onto the conversation. And it could be any messaging app, even messages or Facebook Messenger, and it will work the same way. Now, I've set up the S23 Ultra in a way that all notifications that I receive are kept and maintained. So even if I dismiss a notification by mistake, or if someone sent me a message and is being sneaky and they delete a message, I'd have a record of that. And I don't need any third party app for it. It's just a setting that I have to turn on. 
So go into settings, then into notifications, hit advanced settings and then notification history. That's it guys. You just have to turn it on. It's going to be off by default. And once you do, it will just start maintaining. Now, one of the most underrated file sharing technique is private share. So search for private share under settings and then just set it up once. Okay, it's going to be right here at the end. Now you can share anything, but you're able to decide how long should those files be downloadable, whether to show your number or a random private number. So your identity is never revealed. Did you know your S23 Ultra can alert you of any emergency around you by simply listening? So let's say there's a device beeping or a smoke alarm. Your device will beep and even give you a flashlight to notify you of that or the sound of, let's say, a baby crying uh, in another room or just around you. Or it could even be knocking on the door and you just don't get to know. To set this up, go into your notification tray and then go all the way to the end and just tap on sound notifications and just turn it on. And these are the kind of sounds that it can identify for you so you know which ones to look for. So if you're sitting in the basement doing something uh, or you've got headphones on playing loud music and if there's something that happens around you, this is somewhat of a great accessibility feature to rely on. Next, if you ever have to give your phone to the service center or to anyone else for repair, turn on maintenance mode. It's under device care settings and with this, no one will be able to access your private data. Essentially, only pre-installed apps can be accessed and nothing else. So let's say your gallery is full of duplicate photos or multiple pictures you took at the same time. You could actually group similar photos and then this tiny mark here tells you how many similar images were grouped. And you could choose to delete them all together or just keep the one that looks the best. So if you don't like any, you could just select all of them and throw them into the trash. Now, did you know the S23 Ultra can simply erase unwanted objects in your photos and it works really well. It's very, very easy to. So let's say there's a picture right here and I don't want that uncle in the photo. So I go into edit, then into object eraser. And all I have to do is just tap on the object that I want to remove. The S23 Ultra's AI will automatically identify the right borders and hit erase. That's it. Now let's say you took a photo which is slightly blurry or it's a zoomed in 10x photo like this one. What I could do is just remaster this picture and S23 Ultra will use AI to improve the sharpness, contrast and in general make the photo a bit more punchy. Just notice the ground and how much sharper it is after remastering. Now using your S23 Ultra, you could make a GIF out of anything. So while something's playing, I pull out the edge panel, click on animation and reframe this frame to record the GIF. Now once I'm ready, I hit record and let the recording happen for as long as I want the GIF to be, hit stop. And now I can save this to my gallery as a GIF. Even more, I could tap on the overflow menu here and set this as a wallpaper for my always on display. And now on my always on display, I have the iconic Unagi moment right there. Now let's say that you really like the look of a photo and you wish that you could get that look on a photo that you shot. So I'm going to open my photo and then go into edit and click on filters and then tap on this plus icon. And now I'm just going to choose the photo that I really like the look of and your phone will extract that look and apply it onto your photo. So let's say you're in photo mode, but you quickly want to shoot a video. Just long press the shutter key and then you can drag it to lock it in video mode. And that's it. You can instantly start shooting a video. And hey, you can still take a static photo while it's shooting. Next, go into Galaxy Store and download something called as Camera Assistant. Now, when you open it up, you can set picture softening to medium or even to high. And if you notice, this setting reduces the aggressive sharpening of the regular 12 megapixel photos and they just come out a little softer and more natural. Next, you could also go into capture speed and set everything to prioritize speed. And what this does is it increases the speed with which you're able to capture subsequent and quick clicks. And so if you've got kids or pets and you love taking their pictures all the time, you're gonna definitely benefit out of this tip. Now, while the S23 Ultra is really big in size, taking selfies using this phone is actually a lot easier. So you can just show your palm, use the S Pen button or the volume rocker. But here's an even simpler one. Go into camera settings, shooting methods, and then turn on voice commands. 
Now, when you do that, you could just say any of these to take a selfie. For example, smile and it takes a selfie. Next, if you want to take photos or videos that no one would believe you took them, then try this and prove them wrong. So when in camera, go to more and then select hyperlapse mode. At the top right corner, there are various presets for all amazing kind of photos. So if you want to take photos of car streaks at night or for taking sped up videos or streaming traffic videos at night or even just movement of stars, it's all set for you. It's really simple. But just make sure that you put your camera on a tripod so it's very stable, don't touch it and then you hit record or just take a photo. That's all you have to do. And that's it guys, those were some tips and tricks that I really wanted to share with you about the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, if you want to know how you should set up your Galaxy S23 Ultra, I've done a video, I'll leave a link right here. So definitely watch that, all right? Thanks for watching guys, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.